Welcome everyone, let's take a screenshot on our iPhone. So I'm going to start off with iPhones without a home button. In order to take a screenshot, you're going to click and release the volume up key and the power key, which Apple refers to as the side key. So click release means you click down for like a split second, release right away. Don't hold these buttons, okay? And make sure you add enough pressure for both buttons to be registered at the same time. So let's do this right now. Three, two, one, click release. And you can see, boom, a screenshot has been taken and it will show right here. Now on the iPhones with a home button, this will only take five seconds. Just click release, power and home button, okay? So click release, boom, three, two, one, click release. And there we go, a screenshot is taken. Now, regardless of which device you use to take a screenshot, when the screenshot is taken, you'll see a little preview right here. If you tap on the preview, you can edit the screenshot you have taken directly. So this right here, is a crop so you can move this around in order to crop the screenshot you have taken you have all the markup tools right here eraser all that good stuff if you want to mark up your screenshot you also have the delete button here if you would like to delete the screenshot without it being saved you can also tap on done you have the options to save the photos save to the files app or delete the screenshot so i'm going to select save the photos and if i go to photos you can see the photo or the screenshot shows up right here if it doesn't show up, just select your library, select all photos, then scroll down to the very bottom, okay? And then you should see your screenshot right here. You can also edit the screenshot after it's taken by using all these tools, crop, auto adjust, all that good stuff. And you also have the revert option. Let's say you took the screenshot, you did some changes, you wanna revert them, select revert, revert to original. And just like that, you are now reverting to original. If you want to do a full page screenshot, Let's go to a website here, apple.com, and I'm going to take a screenshot using the same instructions as earlier. Tap on the screenshot preview, and you can see here on websites, you have the option for full page. So you can see here, I've now taken a screenshot of the entire page. You will notice that some of this stuff, like Apple Card, Apple's Pro, hasn't loaded in. So you may want to scroll all the way down on the page in order for everything to be registered. Then take the screenshot again, tap on the preview, then go to full page. And now let's take a look. You can see now the, now the whole page has loaded up successfully. So if you want to do full page, you can tap on done. And you'll see the only option you have is save PDF to files. Now once it's saved, it will ask the location. I'll just tap on save and now I'm good to go. So the files app is a file manager for your iPhone. So if you open up the files app, Let's find the uh, website here, Apple, boom. And you can see the full page screenshot right here. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.